Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on for a quick moment to create a video and show you the new QuickBooks integration feature. So we're really excited to finally have this one up and running. It was definitely heavily requested by our membership. And this new feature is going to allow you to take all those invoices that you create in Design Files and sync them over to QuickBooks so that you can better manage the accounting portion of your business. So if you are interested in being able to do that, then stick with me because in this video, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So first things first, what you're going to need to do is go into your account settings and first integrate your design files account with your QuickBooks account. To do that, you're going to see a new option at the, at the top of your account settings for QuickBooks sync. Click on that. And that's going to give you a button that says connect to QuickBooks. You'll notice that mine is already saying connected. It's just because I've already gone through this process. So what you'll do is you're going to click on that button to connect to QuickBooks. It's going to take you over to the QuickBooks login page where you can log into your account and you're just going to follow a quick step process to sync up your design files account with your QuickBooks account. Once that's done, you can then start syncing any of the invoices that you create within design files over to QuickBooks. So let's just jump over to one of the projects here and I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to click on the invoice option here, and that's going to take me to the invoice overview page. Now on the invoice overview page, you're going to see that there's a new column for QuickBooks. And that way you're going to be able to see uh, which of your invoices are now in sync and which ones are not. Now, just a quick heads up here. If you do decide to uh, sync up your design files account with your QuickBooks account, we're not automatically going to sync any of the old invoices that you created within design files mainly because we want to make sure that we're not doubling up on that information. So if you've already added that information to QuickBooks, we want to make sure that we're not adding to that and then messing around with your numbers. So if there is an old invoice that you have on your design files account and you want to make sure that that is syncing over to QuickBooks, you can go into this menu here and you're just going to click on this option to sync with QuickBooks. Turn that toggle on. You're going to see that that file is now syncing and when it's ready, it will show as in sync like the two above here. Now, once that file is in sync, the next thing that you can do is you can go back into that menu and you're going to have the option to view that file within your QuickBooks account and just make sure that all the numbers are exactly where they need to be. So again, into this menu right here, and you'll see that there's the option to view on QuickBooks. Now, another key thing to note, uh, if you do create an invoice and you just save it as a draft, we're also not automatically going to sync that over to QuickBooks either. So it's going to be, uh, because in that case, you probably still are not ready to send that to your client and maybe you want to make some changes to it. So instead, we're going to leave the drafts as is. And if you have any invoices that you have actually submitted to clients or any invoices that have actually been paid by clients, those ones will automatically sync to your QuickBooks account. Now we'll go ahead and I'm just going to create an invoice to show you exactly how this works. So I'm just going to click on this button to jump into the invoice template. And from there, you can see that I can add in my client's name, uh, the invoice ID, the issue date, the terms for payment, and I can also select the sales tax for this project. Now, if you sync up your uh, QuickBooks account with your design files account, any of the sales tax that you had already added to your QuickBooks account are now going to show here. So you can just quickly and easily grab the appropriate one for this project. And then you can add in your client's contact details. Okay. So now that that's added in, the next thing I'm going to do is just quickly add a product to this invoice. So I'm not going to do anything too crazy here. I just want to quickly add a product to show you exactly how this works. So we've got this added in. I'm including my taxes for this, uh, this particular item. And down below here, I can choose to save it as a draft. Again, if I save this as a draft, it's not automatically going to uh, sync to QuickBooks. Or if I feel like I'm ready to send this one directly out to my client, I can go ahead and I can send the invoice. Now I can absolutely add in a custom message if I want. In this case, I'm going to bypass that step just because I want to focus on the QuickBooks integration portion. So we'll send this invoice. And then from there, that's going to take me right back to my invoice overview page where I can see that this invoice is now syncing directly to QuickBooks. So that's how it works. Now that that's in sync, again, I can click into this menu right here and I can view it on QuickBooks and just make sure everything is exactly where I need it to be. 
But this new feature should allow you to take all those invoices, quickly sync them over to QuickBooks, and just make sure that you have all the numbers you need to better manage the accounting side of your business. So definitely take some time, uh, log into your Design Files account, give this a thorough test run, and just let us know what you think. We're always open to hearing your feedback because it's just gonna help us build better tools for you and your business. Thanks so much for watching.